Hello everyone, this is Jeff, the Hawaiian Brokanic. Okay, so this is the kit that I ordered. Um, this is the uh, Load Lifter 5000. And this is made specifically for uh, 20, I think 2014 and uh, Silverado, Chevy Silverado 1500s and above. Uh, we're going to open up the box and uh, take out some of the, um, the components, talk about just a little bit, and also talk about you know what I need to do to get this thing to work with my, uh, my truck. You know, again, I do have a cock needle 12-inch lift, which means I'm going to need to put this thing on, um, on these extensions um, for it to be able to work properly. So um, let's uh, get to unboxing and, and go through the components. Okay, so I took the liberty of unboxing everything, so um, it's easy for uh, for you all to see. So, um, the heart of the uh, kit are these two airbags right here. So, um, these are the uh, Airlift uh, 5000 airbags. These are the base plates that come with it. And this is just an illustration of you know, how they how they sit on there. And you've got your two U bolts. You've got your bottom locking brackets here and you know some hardware, back of hardware. Um, here is your air hose fitting and I decided to, uh, to kind of thread one in there. Um, this is just checking the fit and everything. And then you've got your uh, upper brackets. you got two of these. Now these are notched out um, so that um, when they sit on the airbag, you've got this plate that kind of goes on like that notched out so when it sits it allows uh, for easy accessibility there and you've got your plumbing so these are a quarter inch um, airlines now these already have um, the Schrader valves already um, pressed in or crimped on so um, if you're doing you know uh, a setup to where you want to be able to fill up each bag individually um, you essentially just loosen this up and cut it down the middle and and, and route um, the line to each fitting on each airbag. Now, um, what I did was I ordered um, these T-fittings right here because I'm just going to have um, one line. I'll have the, each of the airbags, uh, a line from each airbag come to the T and just have um, uh, just uh, have just one one of these uh, trader valves um, attached uh, to the T so that I can fill them up simultaneously. So um, also, what's really neat, it comes with this um, this uh, tool here, which is going to be very helpful when I'm trying to um, stick a bolt um, through the frame. Uh, they call this thing a, uh, a bolt threading tool. I think is what it's called. So anyway, this is you'll see the uh, uh, this uh, this application on this thing this is really neat. Um, you could do it with like um, just regular wire, you know, um, and just kind of wrap it around. But um, this comes with it, and this is going to be very very helpful. Uh, you know, pardon my uh, uh, explanation on this tool. We'll we'll get it figured out. Anywho, um, now the dilemma for me is how the hell am I going to get this thing to fit my um, 12 inch cognito lift. So the, the challenge um, is um, the space between the axle and the top of the um, the bump stop is roughly about 15 inches. So um, and you have to have you know a little bit of, of compression in order for these airbags to work properly because when the axle goes up and down it's got to be able to expand and also be able to contract and um, if it's not compressed you know enough then when they go off-roading or um, you know when the axle drops too low you'll end up damaging your your airbags so um, what I decided to do was buy a couple of these airbag spacers or extensions now what I'm about to do here is um, something that, that is probably not recommended but airlift does not make a long enough extension um, for um, a 12 inch suspension lift so this is what I came up with okay so these 
are the uh, airlift six inch airbag spacers. That's a mouthful. So I'm just gonna say um, airbag spacers. This is a uh, six inch. And I also got the uh, two inch spacer as well. Now, eight inches, um, when I measured, was gonna be you know, right where I need it to be. Um, the reason why I say that is because the airbags themselves are about seven inches in height. So, um, now, this information here is very difficult to get um, off the internet because I went to try to figure out, well, how tall is this damn bag so I can get the right spacers or get the right combination of spacers. Um, this sucker here, it measures about seven to seven and a half inches. So I'm gonna pull a tape from, for, for you all. So if I go from the bottom here, and to the top, you're looking roughly about seven inches. So, so this is eight inches. And if I put this eight and seven is 15. All right, gang, so a quick disclaimer. Okay, so what I'm about to do uh, with stacking these, um, these extensions here is uh, not recommended at least from what I've heard. Now, in some forums, what they've done is they grab two of these and just take it to a shop and have it and have it welded. Um, and then they say that it's, it's, it's just as rock solid as having one solid piece. The reason why I'm, I'm doing two of these is because my, my lift is just way too tall. Um, they don't make an eight or 10 inch one that's available. I, I, I've been searching. I saw a 10 inch, I thought I saw there was a, a, a 10 inch, uh, um, extension but you know maybe i was seeing things so um until then you know i'm gonna go this route and um see if this works so um my uh sole route would be the sacrificial lamb in this project so um anyway with that said let's start organicing
Okay, so fast forward to um, the ending of the installation here. So just a couple of things just wanted to point out that now I did stack um, two of these um, spacers um, to get the height that I needed because the, uh, the airbags need to, uh, to compress um, just a little bit, you know, so that um, when air, when air is, um, is added that it expands and um, you know, if it was static and um, it wasn't, you know, compressed, um, probably blow up the, uh, the airbag. So uh, let me show you an example here. Okay, so what I mean um, compressed, um, I mean that the uh, airbags are literally compressed. Now, uh, there's, there's about a two inch um, gap right here. When it's fully expanded, it's roughly about an uh, inch and a half, two inches. Um, so this is, you know, at, at stock right, uh, right height. So, um, you know, having the, these bags compressed, you know, allows for expansion when, you know, you're driving and, um, you know, the, the axle moves up and down and stuff. I mean, um, this will, will, will have enough, um, you know, material here to expand and contract. Um, and especially, you know, when I'm towing, um, you know, this allows for expansion so that you know, it'll raise up um, the, the weight um, that I have um, attached um, to the truck. So um, anyway, um, just uh, have a, a closer look see what I did here. So that's a six inch, six inch spacer. And then uh, right on top there, I did the, uh, the two inch. So now mind you, they, they don't make a, at eight inch or uh, eight inch or a ten inch, now, on the internet it, it shows that there is an eight inch or or ten inch out there, but um, I didn't have any luck trying to find it. And, um, and I figured, you know what? Um, when when it's out and it's available, it's it's easy as you know, just kind of taking apart um, these bolts up here and have it replaced, you know, with a one piece. So for now, you know, I'm, I'm going to run this and I'll let you guys know how it. Um, how it rides and you know if I have any issues with um, stacking these um, these spacers and again the reason why I'm stacking these spacers is because it's 12 inch lift um, and there there are no spacers made for a 12 inch suspension lift so okay so there it is fully extended that's about um 30 pounds um, PSI right now that's in there. I'm supposed to fill it with that, uh, 30, uh, 30 pounds PSI to go and check for leaks, which I've already done earlier. And, uh, and everything is sound, there are no leaks. Um, how I uh, set up the, uh, the Schrader valve, there's, uh, there's uh, air lines that run from um, either side of, uh, from uh, each of the airbags. And uh, which comes to a T right here, a T fitting. You see that right there? It's kind of zip tied it up there. That's where the valve is right there. Screw on the cap. Pretty inconspicuous, if you ask me. So. Um, down the road, if I wanted to um, mount, I'll do a uh, compressor, I could, but um, there's really no need to be honest with you. I mean, this works totally fine. Okay, so, um, so today's the day that uh, we're gonna go and uh, hitch up the trailer to the Silverado. And we're gonna kind of go through um, the steps and, and what we're needing to do to to get the uh the load leveled so um initially i'd have about maybe an inch and a half to uh, two inches of squat so um we're gonna hook up the uh the trailer and make the necessary adjustments and uh, see how she rides
Okay, gang, so we, we're back, we've backed up. And we gotta back up just a, a tad bit, but before we actually seat the, uh, the, uh, um, the trailer um, onto the hitch, we're gonna, we're gonna take a baseline, baseline reading um, before um, we drop the trailer. So we're gonna go from the tire here, come over here and take a look. And we're sitting at 15, uh, 16 and uh, 5 eighths, okay, from, from the tire. So now what we're going to do is, that's our baseline, 16 and 5 eighths. We're going to go lower down the uh, the trailer and then we're going to see uh, how much sag that we have. So, okay, that's all the weight. Let's come over here and take a look. You can see how the airbags have compressed downward. So we said 16 and 5 eighths, and it's gone down to 15 and uh, 15 and uh, 5 eighths. So it's gone down about an inch. Okay, so um, we've got um, weight distribution set up already. Um, everything's pretty much good to go. And um, the only other thing that we need to do here is, um, you now on, on, on YouTube, I've been searching everywhere to see, you know, what's the proper way to um, hitch up you know, your trailer and how to set the height and everything, um, you know. Do you, do you pump up the air first or do you pump up the air after? How does that affect the weight distribution? Because you have to make sure that the, uh, the trailer is, is uh, you know, is at a static position where it's not bearing weight on the, uh, the uh, trailer, the hitch itself. I mean, there's all kinds of variables. And so the, the only video that, that I saw that actually tells you um, how to set it up um, you know, I'll leave a link for that video um, in the comment section. It says that you know you essentially you know pump it, uh, put air into your airbags. Um, some and, uh, some suggest 30, some suggest 50. It all depends. So um, it did drop down about an inch. I think it was 16 and 5 eighths um, static, and then with the uh, with the uh, trailer attached, it went down to 15 and 5 eighths. So um, if you come over here, take uh, take a look pretty quick. I've got the Schrader valve right down here. And um, this right here is a really neat um, compressor. It's a handheld compressor. I'll leave a link in the description of this little guy here now for uh, for airbag. I mean, this would be totally perfect. I mean, it's totally portable. It charges via USB. Um, it'll do car tires. So on airbags, I figured why the hell not? You know, I could use a portable solution rather than lugging a big old compressor or or whatever. Um, this only costs like 45 bucks or something like that versus $500 for the, uh, the compressor unit that goes with this airless suspension. So um, it's fairly straightforward. You just go ahead and uh, screw this on. Okay, so I don't know if you can see in the right here on the lens, you turn it on, put the, uh, hold it down, and it'll power up. So right now it's on car mode, tire mode, so it shows that it's a 30, let me peel this back, it's brand new. There we go. So I don't know if you can see that. It says uh, 30 PSI is what it's set at. So we're gonna start off with 30 PSI. What I'm gonna do is just press the uh, power button to start it up. Once it gets to 30 PSI, it'll shut off automatically. So here we go. Right now it's five PSI and it's slowly climbing. Okay, so we just got to the campsite. Um, hey, got a quick looky, look see at our campsite here. This is uh, usury. So what we're gonna do now is check to see where we stand as far as like um, the height between the tire and the fender. Now when we left, it was 16 and 5 eighths. So we're just gonna pull tape really quick. So it's actually sitting at uh, 16 and, just about 16 and 7 eighths. 
on this end. Let's we'll check the other side. And we're sitting about the same. So we actually gained um, 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 some height. So when we uh, pumped up the, uh, the airbags to begin with, we went with uh, 30 PSI. And then we brought it back down um, to 27 PSI um, to get down to 16.58. So we gained a little bit of height. So we're gonna check the, uh, um, the PSI now where it's sitting. Okay, so again, this is a pretty neat contraption. So I can, I can check the, uh, the pressure with this as well. So like I mentioned um, earlier in the video, we had uh, it set to uh, 30 PSI that we took off just a little bit. So we're gonna just uh, plug this in and check to see where we sit. So I'm still sitting at 27 PSI. Okay, you can see that. Okay, so we aired, we aired it down to five um, PSI. So this is where it looks like stock height. So it's 16 and 16 and 38. So, hey, there you go. Bags are uh, deflated. And we're pretty much good to go. All right, gang. Well, um, this wraps up another uh, project. Um, just to, to give you a quick review on the uh, Airlift 5000. I mean, like uh, with towing it and everything, I mean, it was a much smoother ride. Um, it definitely leveled out um, the ride and I didn't get any sway or any kind of wonkiness when um, towing my trailer. So, um, yeah, so there you have it. Um, the setup did work out. Um, I was a little concerned about, you know, stacking uh, a couple of those uh, the spacers to get the height that I needed for my 12 inch lift. So, um, yeah, it totally worked out, guys. So if you have any questions, please uh, leave a comment. Leave a comment, comment section. Um, if you like the content, please like and subscribe. Um, other than that, we'll see you guys in the next one. Show our mechanic. Aloha.